the world doesn't have enough graveyard games. I know that might strike people as a weird observation, but there's actually something deep here. Follow me with this. The world would be a better place if we spent more time fucking off in graveyards. And, and that actually used to be pretty normal, apparently. Not too long ago, people largely treated cemeteries like public parks. They were popular picnic spots all the way through the 1920s. And it wasn't all that uncommon to see, like, you know, kids running around playing tag in them and shit. And, you know, we mostly stopped doing that culturally because we were pushing people to go places that cost money. Nowadays, pretty much nobody ever goes to cemeteries, right? Like, I mean, some people go there to mourn, but I read somewhere that the average number of visits a grave gets after the first year that the person is interred like over the entire lifetime of that grave, is one, right? So apparently we hardly even use them for mourning anymore. And as a person who enjoys wandering around in cemeteries, I can say from experience that unless you show up on the day of a funeral, you're pretty much never going to come across anybody. And that's a shame because cemeteries are gorgeous. They're filled with history and they're great places to think about death. Now, I know that that last bit is the reason why most people avoid them, but it turns out that's actually a worse reason to avoid them than the fact that they're filled with history. See, contrary to the common assumption and contrary to my own assumption until I started looking deeper into this shit, thinking about death actually makes people happier. Very consistently, including, and one might go so far as to say, especially when it's one's own death that they're thinking about. Now, I'm sure that this depends on circumstance, right? Like if you're contemplating your own mortality because that train's coming awful fast and you haven't gotten out of the ropes yet, I don't think it tracks the same. But reflecting on the fact that you die at the end of this story is actually really good for your overall happiness. This is borne out again and again in studies. I, I don't know if there's like a, a definitive word on why, but there are several reasonable hypotheses, right? Like it helps you keep your current problems in perspective. It encourages you to slow down and smell the roses. It prods you to forgive transgressions and get over your grudges. I mean, I mean, it could just be that you like flush all the sadness and melancholy out at once, but one way or the other, it tends to make us happy. And that makes me question a lot of assumptions I've had about religion. Right. So I, I always assume that one of the main reasons that people cling to religion is because robbing them of fake immortality forces them to contemplate death. But if contemplating death actually makes people happy, that changes the calculus a bit. I mean, you know, maybe I, I always assumed religion discouraged people from thinking about death's finality because it left people unprepared for questions of their mortality. Right. But what if they're against it for the same reason they discourage masturbation and butt stuff? What if they discourage it because they know it's a source of happiness? I mean, I don't mean to sound conspiratorial here, but I'm reminded of Brave New World, right? Where like everybody was terrified that if they stepped out of line, they'd be exiled to a dreaded island where they'd be isolated from the rest of society and subject to those terrible tropical storms that they'd seen the news footage of. But it turned out that living on a tropical island is fucking awesome and terrible storms are just a very minor part of it. Like, like for so many people, the thought of contemplating death is actually so much worse than the thought of death. And look, I get that it might sound weird to tell depressed people to cheer themselves up with a quick stroll through a cemetery. I mean, it sounds like a fucking threat, actually, but it's really good advice. And if you want to get the most out of it, don't just pass by. Look at the headstones. Read them. Think about who those people were and what your headstone's going to look like. Clear some weeds. Have a picnic. Play some tag. I mean, look, I find the whole practice of saving all our dead people to be weird to begin with. I, I'm, I'm intending to donate my body to science, and if science can't find a use for it, I can donate it to the nearest fucking haunted house. But if we're going to have those places anyway, we might as well get some use out of them. And, and to be honest, I, I feel like everybody should be cool with that, right? I, I mean, if you actually think your loved one is somehow attached to their corpse would you rather they spent eternity resting in a dour-ass, empty place that kids run past or a place bathed in laughter, happiness, and Nerf gun fights? You know, and, and I should emphasize that this isn't just about our personal happiness, though that should probably be enough. Every time we contemplate death without all the bullshit crutches that the churches and mosques try to stick under it, we're taking another bite out of religion's power. The more willing to embrace our mortality we are, the less religious people have to fear on our side of the fence. So, you know, if you're like me and you're not motivated enough by your own potential happiness, do it for spite. <laughs>